Hi, my name is Tracy Pepe. You've reached me at the Scented Lair in downtown Brampton. I'm here doing a series of talks on essential oil and the connections to mental health and how to make your environment better so you can address how you feel and work through some of these issues now that are really showing up through COVID-19. For those of you who subscribe to my channel, thanks very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And those that are new, hit the subscription button. You'll get notifications on content similar to this on how we try to teach people on how to use essential oils, specifically in their home and work environments. Today, we're gonna to talk about vetiver. Now, vetiver is a unique oil. The one I'm particularly working with comes from India. You can see the color of vetiver. It has a very unique um, yellow brown base to it. It's extremely thick. So when you're working with true vetiver, it has, um, it sometimes has to be pre-diluted when you're working with it because it, it will clog specifically diffuser units. So I like to blend it. Easiest way to blend an essential oil is with another essential oil. We don't usually use alcohols or solvents within our environment. We had to with our hand sanitizers, obviously, because you needed a certain level of alcohol to reach um, the status to be healthy and safe. But normally all of our products, we don't work with alcohols. So when you're blending essential oils, vetiver is a very thick oil. It comes in from India, the particular brand that we or I use, and it is a grass that actually has um, a unique scent to it. It's very musky, um, not musky. Musky is a really poor description. It's almost like um, a fireplace. It almost smells like birch tar. It has this really unique smoky scent to it. Vetiver is quite beautiful. I really like it because it slows down the environment. It makes you feel like it's just a low, low, low vibration. Um, now, for those of you who know me or have heard my TED talk, I speak of my son and how he was diagnosed with ADD, ADHD, Tourette's, and later developed anxiety as a young adult. Through his entire um, existence from when he was diagnosed, I was on the search of trying to find different alternatives to work with my son. And what I worked with were essential oils. I used to give him his superpower. I used to put it on a cotton ball, put it in his pocket when he would go to school and he would smell these scents. Um, but I did know that some of the essential oils actually helped to calm the mind. And one paper in particular that came out that grabbed my attention that was directly connected to ADD and ADHD was the use of vetiver. And putting vetiver in a home and an environment creates an environment that is very um, calming and has a really unique atmosphere. So preparing that environment, for example, I was dealing with a mom recently who has a child who has extreme ADD and ADHD, and I know that well. And it's hard for a parent to try to focus and get homework done. So you pre-set up the room and you create a nice environment and you put the scent in the background. Now, stronger is not better. Um, the scent should be like great lighting. It should be like a soft sound in the background. It should add to the atmosphere, but it should not be overpowering. It should not hit a threshold that someone is sneezing or it makes themselves sick to their stomach because the strength of a smell can have an incredible impact, giving them the mixed perceptions of allergies and sensitivities. So please keep the threshold down. Vetiver itself as an essential oil um, has a very strong scent to it. So low scents. Blending them with different smells can create actually a nice environment. Adding some rosewood to it, for example, or hoewood to vetiver, creating just a really soft smell helps with this environment. I would put the scent on prior to doing homework. You can't do homework for a long period of time with children because keeping their focus and their attention is very challenging. So 20 minutes. And we would utilize that in the environment while we're working on the task at hand. These are tools that I used to do, not as a substitute for medical care or psychiatric care, by all means. My son worked with uh, doctors, psychiatrists, and we dealt with uh, pediatricians. We dealt with all kinds of alternatives, but we also worked with medication and cognitive therapy because it is extremely important that you understand how ADD and ADHD in particular is not something that means there's something terribly wrong with your child. Um, it just means they're different. 
and I just like to look at it as if someone was born with diabetes, they would need insulin, it's a similar thing. You have an eye issue, you need glasses. There's tools available to help people. I support mental health because I don't believe really people who have mental health issues, there's anything wrong with them. I think all of us actually experience various different forms through our life. I have personally had to deal with postpartum, depression, anxiety. I'm no different than anybody else. And I'm in the middle of COVID-19. <laughs> so it's real for everybody. So if you find help using essential oils to make you feel better, it's safe for pets. And there's a video on that. It's safe for your environment with children. There's a video on that. And you may just feel better. My name is Tracy Pepe. Thanks for joining me. And if you're interested on that study on vetiver, reach out to me. I'll gladly give you some direction. Have a great day.